All right, all right, folks, what is going on? So today I'm going to be showing you um, how to deploy to AWS. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to make a Travis CMO without the dot so it doesn't get invoked, but then run the mockup that uh, I actually have made. So this is the mockup that I've made. And it's important to, to look at the deploy section here. So your provider is an S3 bucket. Uh, sometimes it can be something else like, you know, EC2, but we won't do that for another day. But the provider can be, you know, S3, EC2, et cetera. These are, these are gonna be your environment variables, uh, your S3 bucket name, build, public read. And if you want uh, webhooks installed, you can get notifications on your email or Slack. Uh, I highly recommend Slack. All right, let's go back. All right, so we're going to go to this one, and this is exactly how it would look if you were deploying a, let's say, a node project to AWS. So we're going to restart this build, and as you see, you'll see ECT, EC2 region west to EU west one, and you'll kind of see these are all wow. Uh, going to be mock builds here. And right now, provisionally, it is uh, booting the VMs. And you'll see here, the job is uh, EC2 region uh, E West 1. Uh, of course, uh, make sure to check your config. This is the JSON. Here, just waiting for it to uh, start. All right, looks like it has started. Um, so you want to check your worker info always. It's very important. Uh, the build system. Yep, uh, we're running on Dino. Everything looks pretty good here. All right, now it's exporting the environment variables. And these are passwords to AWS or sensitive information from any provider that you're deploying to, Heroku, uh, DigitalOcean, et cetera, et cetera, Netlify. So we're running some npm install, all right. So it's gonna start running these AWS mocks here. All right, so this is what it would be looking like if you were successfully deploying to AWS. You'll see 14 tests passed, and uh, you'll see it requires a Q name perimeter, um, attribute, these are all things AWS requires. Um, let's see here. Right here, AWS errors, AWS. So you're really getting everything that a normal AWS um, push and deployment would look like. And this tells you kind of what was pushed to AWS if this was a real scenario. But I have built this mockup. Uh, let's go back to Fogus Tree. Let's see what else. Okay, it looks like they're all passing. Let's see what some of the stragglers are doing. All right, it looks like uh, that one's done. Just cashed out. And it looks like we have one left. And this is the EC2 instance on compute.amazon.aws. So this is just starting. Start build history and see how long, basically, uh, give or take, depending on how big your application is, it's going to take uh, probably a little bit longer than a minute. Probably, you know, it just really depends. I can't give I can't give it really a time, but it would it, if it's a really small application, it could take a minute. So um, the this mockup is is very accurate. So it's going to do an npm install here. So you'll see kind of all these deprecated warnings come up about Mongo. Uh, so now it's going to start doing the pre-test for the AWS mocks, and then it's going to do NYC, NPM run, test all. And you'll see that it's using my repository. They all passed. And this is kind of the same story as the first one that I showed you, but it's still worth looking at. So now it's gathering all the other uh, yep, global services and and then you'll see, um, yeah, uncovered lines, how many lines were pushed, uh, percent of the branch. So it looks like 100% of the branch in these mockups were, were pushed, somewhere like 60. 
And uh, in a real environment, you would just tail log that and figure out why. But uh, I hope you learned something today. And this is how you deploy uh, to AWS using Travis CI. Thank you.